Alright, now if you watch the Easy Skybox tutorial, we're going to kind of go off the map I made on that. Uh, so you need to watch the first tutorial to learn how to make this reference uh, world here. But I'm going to just show you real quick what a seamless skybox would be. Instead of just drawing a big hollow cube around the map, you're going to go around the seam of the map. But you want to uh, do it on the right part too. So I just have the the seams themselves are gonna match up on the side and the top. So basically you don't want a face on either brush touching it touching each other. Otherwise you'll see a seam. Let's do it like this. I'm make this 64. If I can do it, shit. And we're gonna increase the height. Enter. Oh, uh, nope. Skybox texture, the tool. Now enter. <clears throat> now go around here and see you got that creates a seamless appearance. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do that around the whole edge of the map. So, damn phone. So you're just going to continue on all four sides. Make sure everything touches by the seam and that's it. So as you look at it, you have just the seams touching on every part. Now just to do the roof, we'll do a quick control C of this brush, edit, paste special, one, we'll drag it up. And make it seamless on the top as well. 
And since we have the tool brush selected right here, we're just going to use the texture of the entire ceiling as a floor, or the floor as a ceiling. Yeah. Anyway. And we'll add a light environment. Now depending on what your skybox is, is how you're going to set the light environment. I'm using Sky Day 0109 HDR, so I'm going to want to have this guy set accordingly. The wiki settings are on the list for El of L4D skyboxes. Uh, I'll go with the first map. Your pitch will be the either the ideal directional or the ideal sun angle. Either one is the same thing. Your pitch will be the ideal sun. I'm sorry, the ideal directional pitch. brightness for this map ambient color for this map and the sun spread angle to match the skybox and we're going to save it as a new title, I saved it as seamless save it compile it and we're gonna run it <laughs> and just load the map up and you notice the difference right off the bat the lighting is different it's realistic and the sky just looks bitching now so when you're going for great detail in your sky, use the seamless sky box. If not, you know, a quick sky box always works. Or a cubed uh, sky box always works. Anyway.